All right, welcome back. We in the kitchen. We're gonna make some tuna, tuna fish, uh, tuna fish cakes. I kind of like crab cake. We're gonna use tuna fish. All right, so we got one. This has oil in it. Okay, so I'm doing two of them. They're gonna have oil. The other two are gonna just be with water. Okay, so two cans with oil, two cans with water. Throwing those bad boys in there. Mocha. To the fish. So this one has a lot of water in it. See, it's a lot of water. So I'll drain this. Okay. So drain that. You need that all that water. Same thing with a lot of oil. Drain it. Four cans of tuna fish. Right, so you want to take that, mix that up, break up the big chunks a little bit. You don't want it too fine, but you want to get a good consistency. You know what I mean? Nothing too crazy. All right, so that looks good to me. Cool. All right, so got that first thing. We want those some light mayonnaise. Okay, good thing about light mayonnaise: sixty percent less calories and fat. Okay, than regular mayonnaise. So light mayonnaise. Okay quarter of a cup. First, see how this looks. Quarter of a cup. Alright. Like that. Wow. I need more than that, but I'm going to start off with a quarter of a cup of that. Then you got your... I use... This is mustard. This is horseradish mustard, so zesty, spicy flavor. Use whatever kind of mustard you choose. No matter. Quarter of a cup of that. Okay. All that. All those, all those seasoning and flavors up in there. All right, so that's that. Some of this Phillips Black in the season. This is like uh, Old Bay. Same thing. You got Old Bay, use Old Bay. Oh, I'll pop the top on that bad boy. We're gonna do a little bit less than a tablespoon. So a little bit less than a tablespoon. Let's see. Right, what do we need? Then you got your parsley. Okay, parsley. Parsley just be for color, for real. One teaspoon of parsley. Teaspoon of that. Then we got your secret weapon right here. Ranch. This is like a powder. Ranch. Okay. Crack that bad boy over. Two table. Two. Two teaspoons of this. So that's one. Boom. Two. Boom. Then we got this Italian herb. Stir in paste, it's a paste, okay? 
There's a tablespoon of that. Okay. One, one tablespoon of that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna use some sliced jalapenos. Okay, these are pickled jalapenos. I'm gonna throw some of these in there. All right, open up the sliced jalapenos. I don't need too many of these, probably about something like that. About four of these. Yeah, about four, maybe, maybe five. Yeah, five. All right, so you take those. I just like the pickle flavor, the added pickle flavor. Okay, so they got the spice, but then they got like the, the, the pickled kind of, kind of flavor to them. That's why I add them. Okay, so cut that up like that. Throw that in your mix. Okay, so that's what we got so far. All right, like I said, we're probably gonna have to add a little bit more mayonnaise, possibly, but we'll see. Okay. Take that. So first you're going to take this, mix this up. See how that's looking. Alright. Mix that up real good. Get all the flavors to disperse around every piece. Okay? This is how you, this is how you get your food to taste good. You got to make sure the flavors are hitting. All right, cool. That looks good. That looks good. All right, so also to this, we're going to want to add oatmeal to this. Okay. And the beef is going to put the oatmeal. We're going to help it stick together. All right, so this is one half cup. One half cup oatmeal. Cool. One half cup of oatmeal. Let's see how this turns out. We're going to move that. Put that there. Alright, so mix that bad boy up. You really don't even need the oatmeal for real. These are like they but the oatmeal is just um some people like crackers. You know, it's a good carb to help keep them bad boys together. All right, so take it. So huh? just like that. Real simple. It don't take long either. Okay. Two more, maybe. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and create. Probably gonna have these on about, I'll say eight to 10 minutes on each side. So 16 to 20 minutes, give or take. So we'll we'll, we'll uh, play that by ear, by eye, I should say. All right, so 20, go and put that on start. Let that preheat. They go them final products, looking and smelling good. Well, it wasn't nothing to it, real simple, okay? So wait for that uh, air fryer to go ahead and uh, preheat, and it will be good to go. All right, cool, so, preheated. 
kind of quick with the heat out. Like I said, we're gonna flip them at about the 10 minute mark. Eight, eight to 10 minute mark, see where we're at. All right. All right, let's flip these bad boys over. Time to flip them over. another maybe eight to ten minutes set the time on there all right Let's pull these bad boys out see what we got Test. All right, here we got tuna cakes, tuna cakes in the deep fryer. I'm sorry, in the air fryer. All right, all right. Just do some spinach and some um, sweet potatoes I made the other day. And they're gonna product crab cakes I'm sorry with the tuna cakes tuna cakes baby alright let's do this taste test alright you can see lovely meal nicely balanced got your veggies got your starch and you got your protein alright Eight. Get that tuna cake at number eight. Eight out of ten. Get out of here. 